Hello friends, welcome to Engineer Boy's YouTube channel. My name is Silhan and in this video we are going to talk about the stair design. And remember a stair is a set of steps leading from one floor of a building to another. And this is typically inside or outside of the building or structure you can say. No problem, here our approach is to design a single flight stair not a double, triple, etc. Because this is just a basic concept and in the next video I'll try to bring another video on double flight stair design. Here our approach is only the single flight stair design, right? Suppose if a staircase is given 18 times 3.5 times 10 feet, this is just the size of the staircase and we have to put or construct a single flight stair over here in this staircase. Then how can we determine different data for this stair? The different data means what should be the trade of the stair. This is just the run up one step. What should be the rise, which is the perpendicular up one step. And what should be the pitch of the staircase, which is just the angle which the stair flight is making with the horizontal line. And the poor thing, uh, how many number of steps should be there in this stair? And what should be the process for finding these four things? Actually, here are two ways. Let me talk about the way number first. And then we'll go ahead for the way number second. Let's talk about this time, the way first. In the first way, we can suppose a suitable rise per one step. When we have a suitable rise per one step, then of course we can calculate the number of rise. And this is possible if you divide the total height of the staircase by height of one step or by rise of one step. And remember when we have the number of rise, then of course you can calculate the number of treads. And this is possible if we subtract one from the number of rise. And why should we subtract one from the number of rise? Why should not we subtract two, three or any other digit, you can say. Because actually there is no thread at the upper top of the stair. If you see that may be a landing or that may be just a slab. So that's why we subtract one from the number of rise. So once we have the number of threads, then we can calculate the thread size. And then we can do of course check for the pitch if it's a compatible video or not. And remember the slope of uh, the stair uh, may be from 25 degrees to 35 degrees. That's a best video, right? And let's talk about the way second. Alright, so uh, in this way, if you remember uh, in the previous way, uh, we had assumed the size of rise. And this time, we'll suppose a suitable trade for one step. And when we have a suitable thread, then we can calculate the number of threads if we divide the total run up the staircase by run up one step. And when we have the number of threads, then of course you can calculate the number of rise if we add one with the number of threads. And why should we add one? Because the thread are always less than one time the rise. That's why we just add one with the thread numbers. We can get the number of rise, right? And then we can calculate the size of one rise, which is the perpendicular of one step. And then of course we can do a check for the pitch or we can determine the uh, angle which the plate is making with the horizontal line. Alright, so this is uh, how we can determine different elements for the stair and let's try one way and let me try the way first and let's suppose or guess uh, a rise for one step. What do you guess? Just look around in different buildings. That's just the estimation way, right? And let's try one video. You can try 5 inches, you can try 7 inches, and not more than 7, uh, I think, not more than uh, 7 will be better. If you see around stairs, uh, that will be not compatible, right? Uh, and let me just assume a one video. Let's say 6 inches. This will be the rise or the height of one step. No problem, you can try another video. You can also try 5 inches. You can review this video, right? Let and let because you are a designer, uh, then you'll make a decision what video should be provided in uh, stair construction. 
so in this time let's suppose six inches will be the rise of one step now let's calculate the number of rise we'll divide the total height by height of one step and the total height if you see that's 10 feet and the height of one step that's supposed which is six inches so 10 divided by six inches and you can say 10 feet divided by 0.5 feet because 6 inches equals 0.5 feet so 10 divided by 0.5 that's of course 20 numbers so the number of rise are 20 only now what should be the number of trades remember that way that formula right the number of trades must be the number of rise minus 1 so the number of rise are 20 if you see minus 1 that's 19 so the number of trades are 19 per this stair now what should be the size of one trade i mean trade size what should be trade size what if i divide the total staircase run which is 18 feet by the number of trades this will give me of course the size of the trade but remember if you see that's just 18 feet and i want the video to be in inches so i'll multiply this ratio with 12 because one feet equals 12 inches right so trade size must be 11.37 inches and why this video is 11.37 inches because if you remember in the step first we have supposed a rise equals 6 inches right if you suppose a rise equals 7 inches this video may go to 12 inches which is the trade right because th these both are actually related to each other so that's the ratio right and actually i'm happy with this the trade size which is 11.37 inches this is a good video i'm happy with this if you are not happy with this video you can change of course your supposition which is six inches you can change that video right so we got two elements of the stairs the one is the rise and another one is the tread and from this you can guess of course the number of steps which are 20 of course no problem and now let me try to calculate the slope of the stair how can we do this of course for this we can use a trigonometric ratio you can say tangent of theta and this may be the inverse of a rise and run in the ratio in the trigonometric ratio and if you need a complete and a fully explanation video for this uh, the slope determination of staircase i have already uploaded a video with title how to calculate the slope of staircase i think this the this is just the title of that video uh, i'll put the link in the description no problem and the trade is known 11.37 inches the rise is also known 6 inches so that's it you can put these videos or play these videos in that ratio right so if you take tangent inverse of 6 divided by 11.37 we can get of course the slope of the given stair equals 27.82 degrees and what is a compatible video remember uh, the slope uh, should be uh, 25 to 35 degrees so actually this video is based on that assumption the assumption of rise that video was 6 inches so we found the trade equals 11.37 inches and in angle our slope of the stair equals 27.82 degrees right so that's based on that assumption and if you are uh, actually not happy with this video you can change your assumption and try another video so that's it if you have any question type and comment i'll reply you as soon as possible and actually uh, i have studied many books uh, many blogs many sites talking about the staircase design and there are actually many uh, many uh, rules for uh, compatible stair design but you should look around yourself you around in the buildings in the structures what should be a compatible stair that should be a compatible stair if you uh, just go up and down so easily right i mean uh, uh, let's assume if the tread is five inches so nobody can go up and down so easily right if the stair tread is five inches what if the stair rise is 12 inches so that's gonna be also little complicated for old people they cannot go ahead just up to another floor of the building so that should be a compatible stair if one can go up and down so easily right and mostly in government buildings uh, if you look to the government buildings and if you look to the stair uh, inside those buildings the rise of those stairs 
is only 6 inches and its thread is only 12 inches and actually that is just a best video per compatible stair hey this is only per single flight stair and if you need a video per the double flight stair or per the another type stair per circular stair design you can say that's a little complicated calculation were there so if you need those videos make sure you hit the like and hit the subscribe button uh, to motivate me by making those videos thank you viewers for watching see you next time